G'day everybody, welcome to Flatsoid 11, episode number 6. Now, Rachi asked Flatsoid to play a short clip about atmospheric pressure. And I'm not even sure why Flatsoid went the uh, full Flatsoid 11 on this one, but the result was spectacular. The word salad came out and, well... Anyway, let's have a listen. Um, Rachi sent me this link to see what we want to say about this, about the gas go down, go boom boom. Use ordinary wooden ruler. I will put it on this table and I will hit it with my hand like this. Ah. Ah. Now you stick a piece of paper on it. Ah. It's called friction, Snuffing. yeah. <laughs> it flies away. Did I impress you? No. But now I will take the same ruler. I with will paper. put it on the table. I will put this piece of newspaper on the top and I will hit it again. Yeah, and now it won't go flying. This Are you ready? Is, no. Let's this is an old thing. It's just a friction. Yeah, it's just yeah, friction. It's just friction. It just stops the ruler from no, falling I down. The, I think the point is the, the paper is able mm. to hold the ruler down. But yeah, that's because no, no, of the no, surface no, no, no. area. Because that's the surface area. Yeah, it's the surface area. That's right. That's all it is. Let's do it! That's right. Look at this! She broke it. Yeah. It broke! What happened? The atmospheric pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's fearing <What>? pressure. <laughs> no. Oh, God. No, it's not atmospheric what? pressure. It's surface tension due to the friction based on the surface area of the of the newspaper. What the hell? You can do this in a vacuum as well. Is the atmospheric pressure still going to do this? So I asked Flatsoid if he had any evidence for his position. Any videos of this being done in a vacuum? Well, he tried to straw man red herring me. Good luck with that one. So, Flatsoid, what I'm asking is do you have any tests done scientifically? You know, you know, where you control all the variables except one which you manipulate. How about we just change the atmospheric pressure then, seeing as that is the thing that's in question? If it is the cause, then the effect of the ruler being blocked below the piece of paper will go away when the atmosphere goes away. If it's friction or surface tension or tidal locking or whatever it is you claim the ruler was doing under the paper, Put it all in a vacuum and it will produce the exact same result. This has got nothing to do with atmospheric pressure whatsoever. It's literally just surface tension. It's the friction. I mean, have you guys seen when you take a phone book, two phone books, and you just put the pages in between each other like a sandwich mm. and you can't pull it apart? The friction between there holds it together. Mm. It's the surface area. So, as I guessed, Action Labs did this exact test for us. Good bloke. So here it is with the same bat ruler, same bat ball, same bat drop distance, same bat paper, same bat chamber. The only thing that has been twiddled is that the air has been removed. Let's have a look. So I just have a block here, and then I just have a smaller ruler that I'm going to put on the edge here, then put a piece of paper over it like this. Then I have a steel bearing that I'm going to be dropping with a magnet. So I'm going to try it once in atmospheric pressure and then once at vacuum and see if there's any difference. Okay, first we'll do it in air. Three, two, one. Stays up just fine. Now we'll suck out the air and do it in vacuum. Okay, now we're at a pretty good vacuum in there. W minus one atmospheres. Let's see what happens now. Three, two, one easily pops off of there <laughs> look at that so with no atmosphere in there to hold the paper down the ruler just pops right off so this is a pretty definitive test to show that it is atmospheric pressure that's holding the paper on there well i think that is pretty conclusive don't you flatsoid well this is where it got more interesting i saw rachi in chat pop up another link and the young fellow flats clicks on it and you know you could have knocked old ball down with a feather it's action labs video oh what a bummer well there goes the last hour of recording and editing may as well watch flat soy watching and see him eat some humble pie i wanted to be the one serving it to him but oh well it, i'll take it anyway and then flat soy does a very flat soy thing he plays the first of the two tests that action lab did this was the full atmospheric pressure one and the paper was blocking the ruler just like normal because it was normal. And then that's what it says this. Uh, Rachel sent us again showing he did it in a vacuum. There we go, see? 
in a vacuum. There we go, she's debunked. Yeah. Not atmospheric pressure. Well, it looks like we're back on again, folks. Just make some new script and record some more action to rip into flat soil yet again. <laughs> show us it without the container to create the vacuum leak, she <laughs> Show us that bit. No, but the point is, her argument was the atmospheric pressure causes this to happen. To so it, you know, he just dropped that uh, that um, that ball on there in a vacuum, and the surface area of the paper held it down because of friction. So it wasn't the atmospheric pressure that causes it. Making my point. So she was debunked. Well done, Action Lab. Woohoo! <laughs> That's what I say. The people are very, very um. How can I put it gullible just to believe just because she says something? That was not a vacuum. Mr. 42, there was a vacuum. Hold oh, on, Mr. 42, he's holding Flatsoid's feet to the fire. Well, into him, hologram man. Flatsoid failure number one. Well, Mr. 42 did get Flats to play it again. But just as dumb luck would have it, Flatsoid jumps into the video to play it and check out that pressure gauge and he lands right in the middle of the second test this time the full vacuum test and flat sees there is a vacuum on the gauge and he starts calling mr 42 some names again okay i'm, I'm gonna say it again to uh, mr 42 on screen look at the barometric pressure he's made it into a vacuum and then he drops it so stop telling me it's not a vacuum get with it man this is getting frustrating flat failure number two so what happens next Flatsoid finally reads and understands that there are actually two parts to the test. So have a listen to Flatsoid realizing he was, you know, shall we say, in error? The ruler does flip up, watch till the end. How much time do we have to watch this? The guy literally just did it in a vacuum. <sighs> Sounds like tactics to not be um, debunking uh, Nikiga, but we're gonna get maybe. there anyway okay it's a full vacuum okay drop it now oh so it did go up now what's he saying there or just pops right off so this is a pretty definitive test to show that it is atmospheric pressure that's holding the paper on there Hmm, could I be wrong? Well, that's why I took that humble pie rather well. I'm actually impressed and somewhat disappointed. I thought that's why I would begin deleting inconvenient frames and video, but oh well. Play some more. You know what? I want him to do it again. But I don't want him to use that box. I want to use a paper with another paper. Mm. But if I was wrong, I was wrong. But definitely doesn't make but it's not as it is it is the atmospheric pre no 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 it's not the atmospheric pressure it's the pressure pressing on the piece of paper that they call atmospheric pressure we just call pressure but look but at this because they want it. but i've got to i've got to say yeah. something here look at this look at the gaps between you and that would be flat search failure number three oh my there must just have been a bit of a lag and he's back to full excuse making form yet again well, Flatsoid is going to Flatsoid 11 no matter what, it would seem. I don't expect any of us will be getting an apology anytime soon. Flatsoid is already claiming that he's admitted he's wrong, and then he's providing many excuses to say why he wasn't in error at all anyway. And there's no, there's no atmospheric pressure pressing down. It's pressing around in all directions. Yeah. And what that means is that the, the force that's required to push that against the pressure that's pressing on it is more than the strength of the, the ruler that snaps. That's look, what that literally means. Look at the look at the trolls in chat. I, I just I said know, yes, I, I was wrong. I, I consider mm -hmm. that yeah, it probably has atmospheric pressure to do with it. Mm -hmm. Now uh, look at the, how they're going on. Shame. Let's I can scramble. still guarantee you now, if you did it again properly with a uh, more surface tension, it probably wouldn't give the same effect. Actually, I want to get myself a vacuum chamber. I think I can do quite a few different tests. Well, that's it for now. This is such good fun. Mate, you'll have to excuse the background. I think that's called rain on the roof. I'm not sure. But have you seen this part before? I think you have. 
but you may not have seen how I modified it. And I've got to think of the name because I want to engrave it in there before I take the engraving tool out. What do you think I'm going to call this one? I don't know. But look what happens. Have a laser beam on the North Pole. What do you reckon? Well, you know how I said there was not much damage to it. There's only a little bit extra cut on one side. <laughs> now it started spinning around and digging in all over the place. But you know what? I can still resurrect it from there, I think. I'm just going to find a better screw to screw the mm, thing down. Almost said a word, mate. Almost said a word.